Hey, everybody. I took a little breaky break. Um, I hope you all had a Merry Christmas. Oh, so I'm about to, I should have worn different shoes. I was gonna make some snow walking sounds. Outside way longer but that was way too cold <laughs> with the flip-flops so I shouldn't have done that oh so I need to warm up oh my gosh yeah anyway um so I took a break because I was really frustrated about um, YouTube getting rid of that video, but turns out I still have it in my camera roll. I just looked at it, and it is totally, it's a totally appropriate video, so I'm honestly thinking about re-uploading it, but I, then I would risk getting a strike against my channel, but I might just do it. <laughs> um, and then I've had other ideas, but... Uh, that's why I wanted to make this, like, kind of friendly, lo-fi talking video, because I tend to overthink. Come here. So, I want to try uh, doing more snow noises, but... Um, I had to wait for my feet to warm up. And I might go to the front yard because it's more ice. So it's not as traumatic as those that like pile of snow. So I'm gonna do that. And then I also wanna talk about my car. All right, so let's attempt this again. So this is more like ice noises. I got snow in my shoe. <sighs> it was fine until that happened. Um, you know it's kind of weird. It's kind of weird that here I'm out of color. <gasps> I said hi. <laughs> Um, so now I need to go warm up my feet again. <laughs> And hopefully, 
my cat would like to come inside now, so I don't worry about him getting cold, but it's really weird to me that oh, there are people that just don't experience snow a lot or just have never. Oh my God. I don't know where he went. I'll have to call him back once I'm done recording. He, he probably ran somewhere far, far away. My cat loves the snow, but it's... Obviously, it's too cold for him to be out there for long. Anyway. Um. Yeah, so. Since I was kind of having a... Uh, moment of like I, I always get like cool ideas for like role plays and stuff but then I end up over thinking or thinking that I can't it won't be perfect so then I have a hard time starting because I'm thinking about oh it won't be as good as I want but like I, I had an idea because I had just finished watching Criminal Minds and I thought it would be so cool if someone did a Penelope Garcia role play because she's the computer person and she's also like a really fun character. And I was like, wow, that'd be so cool if I could do that. But then I would have to take the time to like study her mannerisms and everything and just started overthinking it. So instead, I just wanted to come on here and step on some snow since that's a lot easier. Okay, I'm also going to be making a farewell video for my 2006 Honda Civic. It's my first car, and I got it for $1,000, and uh, the rim is broken, and I've had this car since 2018, so it's lasted me. It's lived its life for what I got it for. It was a great car, and honestly, shame on me for not taking better care of it. <laughs> um, but that's just something that happens when you're, like, a teenager or a young adult. So I made a lot of mistakes with that car from the get-go. Um, but I think I'm finally gonna junk it. So, it's a little sad. For sure. It's a sad time for me letting that go, but it has to be done. Um, any other things I could show you? Also, something that I've been like just started. I'm so excited for when I'll have more to put in here. But this is a, it's a sketchbook from Claire's. But I'm turning it into a baby book, which is really also sad that a lot of people don't do those anymore, I guess, because everything's digital. But I love actually seeing, you know, things. So I will show you my progress so far. So I got this from Claire's. It was like $30, which is really sad that I paid that. But I put all of the ultrasound pictures in this little part of the book. And... Um, I used way too much glue, so the pages are wrinkly, but you know what, it still turned out quite okay. How adorable. This is my favorite, this is my favorite ultrasound picture. I really hope you, can you imagine if I was just showing you the wrong thing? <laughs> I would have no idea. Also, if my voice sounds are kind of, I just got up, but also, um, I always, like, like, have, well, you guys know, I just have, like, a, I mean, it's, like, what is that word? Chronic. Chronic cold. And there's the last one, which says it's a girl. Um, I gotta say, <laughs> as a young mom, and, um, 
Growing up in a time with like a lot of gender confusion from peers, <sighs> I'm really hoping my child doesn't need to go through that. But I also really don't want to invalidate um, anybody that feels that way. Uh, I personally have not experienced any thing like gender dysphoria or anything like that, so I have I can't say you know, what that's like, but I honestly think that people put too much attention on gender, and that's what makes them think that, I mean, that's part of, I think it's really just, I think all of the extra terms won't be around in the future, because I think people will have chilled out, um, trying to figure themselves out in ways that really don't actually matter a whole lot, but I do not know, um, and I do just, I support people, you know, with whatever that you want me to call you, I will, but I sometimes think that, um, I think that, like, people, it comes from a place of not, of just not being totally sure of yourself. But then again, I also feel like I do not know because I have never experienced gender dysphoria, dysmorphia. Um, so I, I wish I could help people with that stuff. But I'm hoping, so I've been honestly anxious because I don't want to make, and I even tried like, like, oh, I'm not going to make this all too girly, but because, like, I like stuff like this, I j this just stuck out to me anyway, like this. <clears throat> I just love sparkles. <laughs> so, I, I'm not gonna try to make everything in her life all, you know, I'll just let her like whatever she likes, but, um, but chances are because I like things that are cute and I'm so excited to have a daughter because I get to make her all cute. <laughs> I'll probably will. Um, but later on if she has any like questions or like identity issues, I will also support her with that and not and I will never you know t like I'll let her decide what she wants to be really and I won't discredit that it might be weird it's going to be a lot different as a parent um having your kid because you give birth to the kid and you and you raise the kid um and honestly I'm just gonna hope <laughs> I'm just gonna hope that she doesn't have to experience that or have any doubts about you know oh what do I want to be called and something like, and it's honestly because I don't understand it entirely, and I don't want her getting hurt, because, you know, there's even times I get frustrated, because I have a sibling who, um, is like gender fluid, or claims to be trans, and the reason I say claims is because I know there's a really big gray area on like, if you can call yourself trans, but you, it's very confusing because of, you know, they're going against, what, cis normativity and stuff like that, so you, so my sibling, who is biologically female, will claim to be trans male, but then still dress in dresses, and not present as a male at all, and that is confusing to see and to try to understand because um at that point I'm just I'm just like why would you bother <laughs> but you know what either way I just as long as you love whoever's in your life for where they're at uh they will find their own peace and I will try to just guide my kid um, early on if there's any 
always just try to guide them and love them and hopefully that will be enough <laughs> so anyway i'll show you i have like three pages in here because she's not born yet so there's not like much and this is a homemade baby book so i put some stickers here so i could put like um like book of many first or something here with her name uh and then there's just my proof of pregnancy letter with the due date, which is actually technically the 21st, but they first printed it as the 22nd. Um, and then, and then this is the only other page, so I just wrote her a Christmas letter. I wrote it on the 26th, which is, yeah, which is like yesterday. Uh, and it just talks about my, my Christmas with her in my belly, and it was my first Christmas with just her with me and her dad and it was my first christmas away from my parents which was really strange so i hope you guys had an okay christmas because i know this christmas was depressing for like a lot of people because um it was it was kind of you couldn't be with all the family so a lot of people couldn't be with their family for the first time or a lot of people lost somebody <laughs> this year has been like pretty upsetting for a lot of reasons oh and then on this page um i know it's like somebody laughed at it said alien baby but that's what i called her this was just a really short letter i wrote early on so i wrote this one in october 1st and i was just talking like here i can read this one dear unborn baby alien child i can't wait to finally hold you it's really true you couldn't comprehend motherhood until well honestly not sure you will ever experience motherhood and i'm not even sure what you're pee pee parts are yet but that was before i found out her gender are yet but i can person i can say personally even just being pregnant with you has has helped me to, to begin to understand my mother not entirely but thank you my little alien baby love mommy that was just like i wrote that on a whim i didn't even think because obviously if i thought that that was going to go in like a her baby book i probably would have made that a little bit more cohesive to read but I just wrote that on in like my diary or something. So the other thing I want to do is like laminate those pages. <sighs> I'm stressed that my cat is still not back at the door. That is causing me concern because it's pretty cold out there. But I know cats are like 40 degrees warmer than humans. Um, <sighs> so anyway... Uh, thank you for listening to me talk and sticking with me. Oh yes, and um, thank you to everybody who's new here. I couldn't believe that uh, even without me posting, we got past the 100 subscribers. So thank you guys for joining. Um, I don't know. I don't. Uh, yeah, I guess you would know. I don't know if I have like a thing that I do that you can come to my channel for. Uh, pretty much I just want to be here for everybody and so far I feel like a lot of my subscribers uh, at least the ones that comment and um, interact and things are like really here for me and I just uh, love this channel so far with the people on it so I'm hoping to keep it something positive and it will be something positive um, but this was another lo-fi video, like usual. Uh, but hopefully I can start getting into more creative and fun things soon. I just had to kind of start back up again with something simple so that I didn't overthink it. So anyway, since I'm kind of stressed about my cat, I'm going to end this so I can start calling for him and it won't be like loud and startling to you. But I will maybe see you before the new year. And I'm really excited to enter this new year. I hope you are too. Thank you so much for watching. I just realized I've been holding the phone all wacko. So this is going to be... This is, gonna, this is just going to frame horribly. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh well, well. Some, some, some videos are like this. But thank you so much for watching. I love you. Mwah.